welcome. Yeah, I also saw this nice square root problem. From here, what we have here, we can write it as square root of 9 plus square root of here. 16 is common, we can bring it out and say 16 into bracket. This will remain 4 here. That's 4 plus. This will remain with 12. And here we have this. Then what we have here now from when we have root A, then root B. This can be written as root A and root B. We can separate that. So when we separate this now, this will give us square root of 9 plus square root of 16, then times square root of 4 plus root 12. Then from here, 16 here is same thing as 4, and we have square root of 9 plus 4, then times square root of 4 plus root 12. And uh, what we have here, root 12, we can write it again. And uh, that will be root 12 equals to root 4 times 3. And when we separate it, this will give us 2 root 3 from here. Then we replace this as 2 root 3 and this will become square root of 9 plus 4 root 4 then plus we now have 2 root 3 here. Then in the next step we have square root of 4 plus 2 root 3 we can write that as root 4 plus 2 root 3 now can be written the same thing as 1 plus 3 that's square root of 1 plus 3 plus 2 times 1 root 3 so when we replace this with what we have here then this will give us square root of 9 plus 4 then square root of we now have 1 plus 3 then plus 2 times 1 root 3 then from here what we have here we can follow from what we have which is when we have a square plus b square plus 2ab which is equal to a plus b all square then here we can write 1 as 1 square and uh, 1 square is still 1 and 3 we can write 3 as root 3 square so this cancel this and this is still 3 so that what we have here can be written as square root of 9 plus 4 then root here we have 1 plus root 3 square then plus 2 times 1 times root 3 and from here we have this now we simply be in form of a plus b or square which is 1 plus root 3 squared so this becomes square root of 9 plus 4 then root here we have 1 plus root 3 now then square and here this square we cancel square roots and this will become square root of 9 plus 4 into bracket 1 plus root 3 and also this 4 we open this bracket here and this will give us square root of 9 plus 4 then plus 4 root 3 then and from here 9 plus 4 is 13 so we can write this as square root of 13 now plus 4 root 
3. And what we have here, 4, we can separate 4 as 2 times 2. And this will become square root of 13 plus 2 times 2, then root 3. And also, this 2 here, we can write it again as root 4. And this will give us square root of 13 plus 2, then times root 4, then times root 3. And what we have here, root 4 times root 3, we can equally write it as root 4 times 3. And this gives us root 3. So from here, this becomes square root of 13 plus 2 root 12 from here. Then what we have here, 13, we can write 13 as 1 plus 12. And from here, we replace this as square root of 1 plus 12, then plus 2 root 12. And from here, this is equally 2 times 1, then times root 12. And also, when we look at this format, a square plus b square plus 2ab, which gives us a plus b all square. And so from here, here we can write 1 as 1 square. 1 square is the same thing as 1. And we have root 12 square, same thing as 12. And this now becomes square root of, we have 1 square plus root 12 square now, then plus 2 times 1 times root 12. So when we compare this together with this, we have, this will simply become square root of, 1 plus root 12, then all square. So that here, square, we cancel square roots, and this gives us 1 plus root 12. And when we simplify here, root 12 can be written as root 4 times 3, and this is root 1 plus root 4 times 3, and root 4 here is 2, so we have 1 plus 2 root 3, which here is the final answer to this given problem. And therefore, the problem given here, which is square root of 9 plus root 64 plus 16 root 12, is now written as 1 plus 2 root 3. So thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe to my channel, turn the notification bell on, share this video, give it a thumbs up. See you next class and bye for now.